How's it going, everybody? This is Jackson Maddox, and I am coming to you today to talk about another neighborhood here in Nashville. We're going to go over the nations today. And uh, this is a special one because it's a very popular neighborhood right now. Um, I think that it's been pretty on the radar for a lot of investors and agents. So we thought it would be a good one to jump into next. Um, so let's get started. Where is the nation's first and foremost? It is located just directly west from downtown on the north side of I-40. If you look at the boundaries of the nations, it does extend a little bit to the south side, but it's primarily on the north side of I-40. And when I was doing my research on the history of this area, I actually found some pretty interesting stuff. So the nations has an interesting name. You know, a lot of people don't really know why it's called the nations. And it seems like there's not a real consensus on it. So I'm going to go over three different theories as to why it's called the nations. Um, the jury is still out. It seems like there's a lot of debate over this. So I'll jump into it and you can decide for yourself or ask a older Nashvillian uh, if they know why it's called that. So theory number one is that it was a meeting place for multiple Native American tribal nations to trade with one another. Theory number two is kind of similar. It's uh, that it was a meeting place for the Chickasaw nations and the white settlers to trade with one another. So kind of a similar uh, narrative, but we're not 100% on that. We do know that the Chickasaw nations, um, at least some groups, uh, resided in that area in the uh, 18th and 19th centuries. And then uh, theory number three is that it was named that way due to the various ethnicities of the residents residing in the area um, as a meeting of many different nations of people. Um, so that is maybe a more recent explanation as to why it would be called that. Um, but it just didn't seem like anybody had a, a solid foundation of why it was called that. It seemed like every explanation I could find, there was somebody else in the comments saying, no, that's wrong. It's actually this. So I guess that is uh, up to you to decide or, or ask around and see what other people say. As far as the houses that are in this area, um, it is definitely, you can tell that this was a working class neighborhood when it first really developed. Um, it became a hub for people in the automobile industry, the lumber industry, and agricultural workers. Uh, that was primarily what you would see, uh, you know, the the different people that you would see moving there were working in those industries. And then if you go just north of the nations, there is still a lot of industrial land. Um, there's a lot of different, you know, manufacturing uh, things happening. And so you can see, you can see how that it made sense that that neighborhood formed in the way that it did and uh, became the area where the, um, the workers for these companies uh, would live. Now, as far as the, types of houses that you see in the neighborhood you're definitely seeing you know smaller older you know 50s 60s houses um, ranch style houses craftsman uh, style houses um, but then as you go in into the area now uh, you start to see more and more uh, new builds. HPRs are, are very popular in this area. So a lot of these older houses, you know, they're still there, but they are getting replaced by these newer developments. And I would say in our, you know, in the last five years or so, that's definitely what the area is mostly known for is having the uh, these HPR houses and uh, a lot of new builds. Um, there is some older stuff that is being fully renovated and completely uh, flipped around and uh, updated, but you're seeing a lot of HPRs in that area, which of course brings us to the median house price, which is 616000 right now. It's actually down about one to two percent over uh from last year but that's not a huge change um i think we're seeing a bit of the market slow down a tiny bit but it's pretty much remained pretty constant over the last four years or so and uh i can only imagine it'll continue to grow as this area becomes more and more built out and uh it's going to be more and more in demand as as things continue to flip over. Another thing of note, if you're an investor and you're kind of thinking about it from an investor standpoint, the Nations is right next to Sylvan Park. And so Sylvan Park is just a tiny bit 
more expensive than the nations. It's a little bit ahead of the curve in terms of the development that's happened in the area. So it kind of stands to reason that the nations will continue to go in that direction. Now, what is this area best known for? Well, like I said, in the mid century of the 1900s, around that time and forward, it was a working class area. It's where a lot of the um, workers for these industrial and agricultural uh, companies were living. But nowadays you see a lot more young families. Um, there's a lot more in the way of trendy businesses. So this is kind of becoming a hub for young people, young families, uh, people that value being kind of in the mix and having a lot of new, cool, small businesses to go see. Um, that's a big draw for this area. Hey, if you're thinking about relocating to the Nashville, Tennessee area, well, I've got just the thing for you. My team and I have actually actually taken the time to create the ultimate Nashville area relocation guide, which is meant to save you hours of research and I've linked it down below. From top employers, best hospitals, and a boatload of other things that you're gonna need to know before you make the move to Nashville. It's completely free, it's linked below. Check out the top pinned comments. I hope that helps and let's talk soon. So going from there, let's go over a couple of the good small businesses in the area. So as far as restaurants go, we've got Daddy's Dogs. It's a great hot dog spot, very popular. Uh, there's a Frothy Monkey location. They've got multiple locations around town. They're very popular, common coffee place around Nashville. They have a uh, nation's location. 51st Deli. I actually have it on good authority from Taylor, whose studio I'm in right now. He said they've got the best breakfast burritos. So... That's that's one man's opinion, but I trust his judgment. Uh, so I, I haven't actually had a breakfast burrito from there. I probably should have had one before I filmed this video. But um, if anybody wants to sound off in the comments and give us any feedback on whether or not that is the best burrito, 51st Deli supposedly has it. Now, another one, this is another Taylor recommendation, Midnight Oil. It's supposedly is the best pizza in town. Another one that I haven't tried yet, but maybe somebody can can back me up in the comments. Um, and another thing that was interesting about Midnight Oil is that they have a large tequila selection. So um, that's kind of a unique thing for a pizza place to have. And that's one of the things that, you know, kind of makes the nations uh, an area that people are drawn to is that the uniqueness and the the innovation of the small businesses in the area so if you're looking for some more alcohol based options like nightlife kind of stuff um harding house is a great local brewery right there and then the centennial is a really popular bar in the area and all of the places that i listed off are kind of right there you know within a block or two of each other um, there's kind of one central hub with neighborhoods all around it in the nations where all of these businesses are so they're very close to each other uh, they're super walkable especially if you live in one of the adjacent neighborhoods right next to it um, so that being said the nations is a very cool spot in nashville it's growing and only going to continue to grow as the areas around it begin to be fully built out and start to really hit their peak as far as pricing goes. Um, the Nations is still kind of building and developing, but it's you can already see what it's going to be. Uh, a lot of cool, popular businesses there. And uh, if you have any questions, of course, if you're interested in investing or looking at this area, hit me or Dave up. We will put our info down in the description. We'd love to help you look around Nashville. If you have any other specific questions about this neighborhood, we'll answer them or any other neighborhood you're curious about. We'd be happy to get with you and go over it and hopefully help you find what you're looking for here in Nashville. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jackson Maddox. The end.